So it's like people don't like that you're loving yourself. And it's just like when um I like to watch him. Um he's on TikTok. Uh shit, I forgot his name. Um Buck. He just got in a happy relationship after getting out of a, a bad relationship. The basically um date. As, as you can see, I'm sounding way better. Like, the mucus is out my chest. I keep telling people to eat raw ginger because it's, like, a healthier immune system. It is acidic, so I like to, like, peel off the skin and eat it with coconut because that's the only coconut shedding. So that's the only thing that don't, like, burn the side of my lips. Or make it into a juice. I really want to get this juicer on TikTok shop. Like, I love juicing things. Yeah. Um... You're literally in the eight of pentacles sitting, minding your own business. And somebody is in despair, disconnected. And it's like they're going around saying that they uh, that you're a hoe. Or if you're a guy, like, you're you're a hoe, you're a bee. And you don't talk bad about this person. These are the same people that you helped. It's like people are mad that their words are not holding you back. The gossip is not holding you back. And I feel like one of my managers is like a fucking angel. And if I could, like the most I do for people when they look out for me is a money spell. But they will never know that, like behind closed doors. Um. So, even my manager, when I used to work at this Dollar Tree, she's like, thank you. And I just feel like... Because I really, I, if I could, if I was a millionaire, I would give people like $500 for the, those who looked out for me when I was at my lowest. Because I feel like you, when you was at your lowest, and this is a, sm a smoky quartz crystal. It's pretty good. I just keep grabbing on it. I feel like um, it's very triggering. Because these are people that you help and then they go around. Like, say you help a mom or a dad or a close friend or a lover. This is a person that ruined your life or almost ruined your life. And, like, you worked so hard. I saw a motion of video where a girl worked so hard to get out of a situation just to end up back home. And it's like, you know, people like to talk down on you. Like, oh, you don't got it together. And you, they will never say, hey. I, you had a jealous sister, and that's why you had to move a 7-Eleven on my birthday, New Beginnings. Um, like, why you left, you feel me? Like, you have people that won't tell you that they're haters, but they sh clearly show you that they're, they're your haters. Like, they don't like you. E even when you're kind to them and you're like, like, you don't get it. You don't get it. I feel like even your mental health is getting better. So, like, when people say you negative energy, it doesn't hurt you. Like, people are, like, stuck in the past of this innocent... I feel like you're still innocent. I feel like you just hide it from the world. My friend like to say cloaked yourself, where it's like you are innocent, but then, like, you could, like, dress gothy, but you really want to dress girly. Like, you kind of make yourself look like RBF, like someone to not mess with. But the whole time you're funny, you're sweet. Um... I feel like people have happy memories. Like, you give them a sense of home. Like, like you're the mom that they always wanted or the dad that they only always wanted or the best friend or sister or brother they always wanted. And somebody's facing judgment because they wanted you in a nine of swords and you could have not been sleeping well lately, even though we're in a solar eclipse. You know, I post this on my story of Anastasia saying, like, wrap your hair at night, um, you know, burn some ancestor money. These are the things I like to do. I feel like charge your crystals. <laughs> get you some water and put it outside. Let it get, you know, by this solar eclipse. It's something I'm going to do with that water. <laughs> like, somebody wanted you to be, like, mentally stuck and stagnant by the trauma. Like, they want, like someone traumatized people just to have them stuck on the same thing. Like, so... You could be in 2024, but you're still stuck on what happened in 2018. Like this person betraying you, this person seeing that you went to back for them, the back and moon. You you let them use your car. You could have gave them money when no. It could have been a high amount of money, because nobody be giving out a thousand or five hundred willy nilly or buying people a PlayStation Four or PlayStation Five. Let's be for real. Like that is money. Even when PlayStation Five first came out, it was a thousand. It was not five hundred. Now it's five hundred. You feel me? 
And whoever this person is has to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a person who thinks out on how to hurt you. And you're literally sitting here, yeah, with the Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles and the Sun. Everything is coming together. You are being seen successful as a part of a team. Yeah, and I feel like somebody who's an air sign really wants you to look at narcissistic. And I feel like what my friend said, because she's a terrorist, the person who wants to project the most that you're this bad guy, and I wish people pay attention to this, and this will really help a lot of celebrities, influencers. The one that's talking so much bad on you is the bad person, literally. Because someone could know that you're the sweetest person and they know you're a good person, but they already did something or slandered your name and they're the reason why that rumor is going on and they just got to continue their lie or they bullshit. It's almost when Britney reposted this video saying like, okay, just, just because you think they would never or they would never or like give them the benefit of doubt because I feel like February was trusting your intuition March was exposing the madness that was going behind closed door that we didn't know like um people doing magic people hurting your feelings intentionally um leaving you for someone it's like kind of y'all see this person like for who they are this page of swords they want attention whoever's spying on you yeah and I say this because like Let's say you wasn't going to be chosen and you you realize that. And as you're being single, you're being single. But it was a lot of chaos. And then you really was having a bad day. And let's say you want to talk to this ex or whatever friend that you usually talk to. Somebody that you really don't trust, but they kind of good as a listening ear. This is a snake. And I say this because once you picked up or called, this person wanted to hurt your feelings so deeply. Especially if it's a woman. Like, my hand is scratching. Like, somebody wants to know your deepest, darkest secret. Someone wants to make fun of you that you had a miscarriage. Or um, you had to go to Planned Parenthood. Or um, that guy that you love so much never cared about you. They took advantage of you. Even if you bought them a car or a PlayStation. Whatever. It's something about, like, you doing something big. Because whatever you did big for someone, this person never had, like, whoever third party... They never had someone compare to you. And they're trying to find someone that compare the same heart. Like, you could even got a, a Velotime card. Like, I have a Velotime card. Like, bless your kind, loving heart. Because one thing I find it odd is the people who screw me over be watching you. And then they be wanting another chance of you. And you already saw, like, from the first time. And that's why it's so important to keep that reminder in your head. Like, trust them the first time they showed you that you can't trust them. Because this person is, like, watching. Like, they want you to play with me. I'm bored. Like, like pick up your sword and let's play fight. Let's go back and forth. Like, let me make you look crazy. Let me, let me, you know. I remember one time I got in the car and this person got me so mad because I found out this person was cheating. And I was really in love. And he, like, um, y'all could have been to the point where you wasn't in control of your emotions. It's not a bad thing. You could have been 21, 18, whatever. 22 26 32 it doesn't matter and you really care for this person and now you're chasing them in your car driving after them like it's something like that like this person wants you to chase to make you look like you're crazy or psychotic and whole time it's almost like that video where everybody was stitching and this girl was acting very mad while the guy was behind the other door calm and laughing that's what narcissistic people do they do something to trigger you and then they're calm even one time i was yelling at somebody i realized they got so calm because this person was good at being an energy vampire like this is a person who likes to siphon people energy that's what i'm getting Yeah, this person wants you to cry. Like, this is a person that's a bully. And then if you pay attention to the Five of Swords, it's someone who's walking away because they, they just tired of fighting or tired of the bickering and be like, you won. Because it's like you're literally trying to break me. You're sneaky. You're a thief. You're abusive verbally, physically. You try to win at all costs. Even getting people to not like me, even though they know that I'm a good person. Like, say if you bought someone food like someone will get weirded out if you buy their family something because it will really hinder them when they start to make that lie that you're a bad person like i remember i like all these self-care masks and i was just passed out because i know girls like self-care so i'll give it to his sister or 
somebody really thought you 